Hi, welcome to Seaside Quilting Supplies. This is some episode of, one of Say It Ain't So. Some of you may know us from our Facebook Live events. My name is Barb. This is Mary. Mary's worked with me in the quilt shop here for a couple of years now, and I've known Mary for 20 years. Mary does not sew. She works sew. in the quilt shop. She does not sew. Doesn't sew. We but thought it'd be I fun. I bought a sewing machine. <laughs> we thought it'd be fun to teach Mary to sew live. Well, not live. Yeah, not on live. camera. On camera. Yeah. So well, we also wanted to show you guys the process of refurbishing, and this could go one of many ways. <laughs> refurbishing. Cleaning sewing up. doesn't have to be the most expensive hobby you you start. There are crazy dollar sewing machines, but I picked up this dandy little thing at a yard sale for twenty five dollars. It's a Sears. They can't see Ten more that you can't see. Hang on, I'm going to get you yeah. a shot here. Picked up this little Sears Kenmore sewing machine at a yard sale. It has, it's got the little uh, sewing table, but we took it out of the sewing table for the video. Um, for 20 bucks, Sears Kenmore, it's probably, I'm going to guess 30 years old, maybe more. It's a little bit older than that, but okay. we picked, um, so we're going to, we're going to film Mary and I cleaning this up and um helping mary make her first couple of yeah things. yeah we're gonna go through it Bar well barbara's gonna go through it and show me what to look for but we're gonna we're gonna clean it and oil it because that if you pick up something at a yard sale and probably your home machine if mom gave you her old machine or grandma or even yours that you're using probably every so many years or every so many placemats or something might be a good idea yeah. to go through and kind of kind of clean it up if you're an avid sewer you know that you have to stay on top of the dust and the lint inside of your machine. So we're going to pause for a minute now. We're, Mary and I are going to get some things ready here and we're going to clean this machine while you guys watch. Be right back. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is clean Mary's machine up a little bit. So um, this machine normally sits in a tabletop. So what I'm going to do is not normally what you would want to do at home. But I'm going to stand it on, on its end. It's been, we don't know the last time it was cleaned. Yeah, I did. I did. I removed it from the tabletop. You'll see the hinges and everything back here where it was attached. I went ahead and rem completely removed it so that we could get around it. Yeah. And so that would be up to you, personal preference, yes. if you wanted to go that route. Yes. So, but for the sake of this video, we're, I'm going to stand the machine on its end just so we can get a good look under the um, undercarriage and see what we're dealing with. So I'm going to try and move you. I'm going to move the camera a little bit so that you can see what I'm seeing. Hopefully. And first and foremost, the machine is unplugged. Yes. There's no. Yeah. There's no, no electricity running yeah. through it. I'm going to turn this. Oh, sorry to jiggle you. I'm going to turn you hey, this look. way. Um, look what may reside in here. <laughs> so. We're just going to kind of, we're kind of just going to take a look in here and see what we see. You can see some dust bunnies. Hang on. Um, we're on Barry's cutting table, so I'm going to turn you this way yeah. a little bit. Um, and Mary's going to put her flashlight way down here close. Yeah. Just that right there, Mary. That's good. Yeah. So we're just going to kind of look around and inspect and make sure we don't see anything physical that we need to remove, like a big ball of thread or... And I don't really see anything like that. Do you see no, I do see some a couple of dust bunnies and some some just things that, that time will do to you. Okay, so we're going to start down here on the bottom. And Mary, you take this. Um, okay. You want me to hold that? I don't know. I may not need it. And we're going to hold this light. And Mary's going to take just a regular pipe cleaner. Oh, you can get from I couldn't the, remember what they were called. Get them from the Dollar Tree. That's right. I have a million of them. A pipe cleaner. And she's just going to wiggle the pipe cleaner everywhere she can find a little okay. crevice and really stick yeah. it all the way in there and wiggle it around. Get, this, get the dust out. Look. Who do you want to call? We don't want to call Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to call Let's anybody. It's calling somebody, Mary. Look at the dust. <laughs> it's it's calling, calling Ghostbusters. I don't, I don't know who it is. Look, it's, <laughs> it's calling someone. Oh, oh, Brittany. Okay, so we're going to clean it here. Sorry, Brittany. My friend is so um, independent. So, literally, She's when I'm cleaning back. my machine, I literally stick the, the pipe cleaners everywhere. Yeah, so we're going to run it through here to just to get... Because yeah, that dust may look harmless, but it's going to shift. It's going to grow. 
and you especially want to get around your bobbin housing um, yeah. all the parts where your bobbin is going to live you want to and you want to open your do you have any air can air? no and listen you don't generally want to force because you'll force things into places oh, that you can't see, get that would have been of. that would have been my first solution was to get now, listen, that can of compressed yes. air that now, does listen, make a sense. lot of people look, look at, at that. that look at that Ooh. all right Mary, get a new one um so you can so you can use compressed air strategically you guys for example move your thing for a second mary i might take some compressed air from the top and blow down straight down so that it would come out the bottom i would not take compressed air and blow into this or up into here at all because uh, you might wedge something that you can't yeah, even see okay that, so that makes sense it's best just to keep be a little tedious might be a little tedious um well, like tedious thing use your oh, like, look at oh, that that's gross <laughs> that's gross that's nasty so just keep yeah use the other end and then get a new one yeah. so mary's just going to keep yeah and these pipe cleaners you guys know they're what is it a hundred for a oh, dollar almost so. nothing yeah, get you some pipe cleaners. And so Mary's going to keep cleaning around in there. And um, in a minute, I'm going to show her up here on the feed dogs where I want her to do too. So I think, you know, look at that. Yeah. So she's going to get the big stuff off first. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to come up here to the top. Yeah, they're going to, okay. I think I got most of the big stuff. All right. So we're going to set the machine back down. And like I said, you guys know we, we got this machine at a yard sale for twenty dollars. So we don't really know how long it's set, right. what type of environment it's set in. It actually, to me, seems to be in pretty good shape. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to take Mary's plate off of her machine here, but I'm not going to do it with this. I got to go get a little short. Oh, stubby. I need something. So Mary, while I do that. Take your little pipe cleaner. See if you can wiggle it down in where your feed dogs are. Are they so and, feed dogs? Aren't mm -hmm. they so cute? Slide that, slide that in there and see if you can get anything I've, out of that. Let me get a short stubby screwdriver. Yeah. Yeah, Barb's going to get a little screwdriver to see if we can get, remove this plate. Yeah, and, and like we said earlier, if you if you pick up something at the Goodwill or a hand-me-down that's been sitting around for a while, I know that the that the lady that used this machine, she was definitely later in life and um, had probably not used it for quite some time. Did you find any goodies in there? No, I didn't. That was actually okay. in pretty good shape. All right, so I get a short, stubby little screwdriver. So, uh, it's still not short enough. Um, so, one of the things we wanted to do, that one of the reasons we wanted to do this, um, that's not going to work. I need... I need... Really teeny tiny. Um, and I have a little. Let me go look up. Yeah. Um, we'll be right back. We're gonna. Yeah, we're gonna. For a we're second gonna pause this. Thing. Okay. Okay, we're back. So what we're gonna do now is take the rest of the face plate off over here, um, so that we can take a look at what's under there. Yeah, and this machine required a a flathead screwdriver. It had to be super short, so we had to improvise. Yeah. Most of them take little flatheads in here, so we gotta. Yeah. Yeah, there's out. not a lot of area in here, so you'll need to to make sure you have a a short Let's see if you can spin that around screwdriver as you can. There you go, you're getting there. Or some fingernails, <laughs> whatever works, you know. And make sure you don't lose these little babies. Oh my gosh, I want to say that. Or you won't be happy. There you go. You just unscrew it with your fingernail. And rest, rack, rack your manicure. All right, so Mary's going to hand me that little screw, and then she's going to lift this face plate off. Okay, pick it up. And we're over. Oh, oh gosh. Flip it over. All, All right. right, I'm going to get a wipe. This side doesn't look terrible, but. I'm going to get a little wipe. We're going to clean that up, and you're going to take your. Mary, is the angle good on the camera? Let's so maybe see you can. They can. Get... I don't think I just want to zoom in and see if you guys can see the, the things in here. I don't know. It's pretty. All right. Some dust bunnies definitely inhabited yeah. that. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the. Hang on, I'm gonna cam. I'm gonna do some camera work here okay. for a second, and see if we can get you a nice tight Maybe shot of what might be living checker. under your. Yeah. 
there. So I don't know if you guys can see right in there. Let me see. What yeah, we're this is up. dust bunnies and stuff. So, and if you guys are using your your machine continually, especially if you're using batting that's got a lot of scrim and stuff in it, this. You definitely need to make sure you're cleaning your machine right. regularly. So Mary's going to clean that. Use the, the pipe plate. cleaner. Right. Pick up all those little goobers. Funky stuff under here. And you want to be really, while you're doing this, you do want to be really careful and be as meticulous as you can. And give your machine a little love. So that it will sew happily for you. Yeah, talk nice to it. <laughs> it's like growing a plant. I say, love you. Say sweet things. You're gonna I make talk such to my pretty things. I talk to my machine when I walk by her all the time because I don't get to yeah, turn her on anymore. Well, I got one and didn't even I left it. I brought it over here. So, so Mary's Mary's being real careful with her. Yeah. Um, and the pipe cleaners are very gentle, so you're not going to hurt anything. But she's making sure she gets in all the. It's like you want to stick that thing way down in the way middle down there. there. Just. Yeah, and once it gets soiled, yeah, just throw it in, throw it aside and get some Do more. not keep using Good, it. Yeah, because you're just going to reintroduce new That's right. Get yourself new a fuzzies. new. Get yourself a new pipe cleaner. That's it. Just let it. It'll stop when it's ready. So just keep looking. Oh, all gosh. Something that. fell. I saw that. Something's <laughs> in there crying for help. Yeah, there's things. Things living in here. Yeah. So you want to keep yeah, just keep poking around and poking around. Lots of dust. And that's a, what Mary's doing right now is exactly what I do with mine. I just stick the pipe cleaners yeah. in there and it wiggles stuff loose. And everybody has their own ideas and their own methods of cleaning. So we're yeah. not saying anybody's right or wrong. This is just no. number one. It's inexpensive. And it's very and effective. it's definitely effective. And you can see the results. And you're not going to hurt anything. Yeah. They're very gentle. All right, so we got under the faceplate there. So we're going to go back. Before we put the faceplate back on, while we have that off, we're going to go back and stand the machine back on its end because it gives us a nice view. And Mary's going to get her camera light again. All right. And I'm going to poke Bar's around gonna a go little bit. And I'm going to go behind her a little some bit. Poking. And I'm just going to run it around a few places that tend to be problematic but mary did a good job here i'm not finding a lot of yeah and then actually and that, i mean i realized i don't know what look i turned the flashlight off i don't know what i'm talking about but um it wasn't i honestly expected a lot more debris in there than we found so i'm pretty yeah. pretty happy with with this little little investment Ooh, that was a big booger um all right so we're gonna just do a little bit of that and then see. So Mary's machine, this calls for you to oil three dots in the machine, three places. And they're supposed to be marked with red dots. Now I don't know if over time, because I don't know exactly what year this machine is. I did try to look it up and get a this manual. JG2 right here, does that mean anything? I don't know. No, that's just the metal housing. Oh, um, oh here Mary, while I do this, you ready? Look up a model number. You can oh. turn your light off. Okay. Look up the model number for me. Just do Kenmore. Kenmore. I know I have it saved on my computer and it won't turn on or no. Anyway. Yeah. Why won't your computer turn on? Because I killed the power cord. Let's see if this, yeah, if it ain't, yeah, I can marry Bring it back. Anything. John will fix it again. Kenmore. Is that the one he fixed before? Yeah. I'll bring it back. I'll fix it. Kenmore, 148. one two oh oh one. I mean, oh one one. One two oh okay. one one. One four eight dot dot one two zero one one. One two zero one one. Let me do it again. Yeah. One four eight dot one two zero one one. Yep. That's what I thought. See if it tells you what year it is or anything. Sewing machine. It's a vintage sewing machine. <laughs> See, there it is. <laughs> nice little vintage sewing machine. Does it say what year it is? Kenmore. Where no. it's from. You can buy it on eBay for 40 bucks. Let me see. All right. 
So Mary's got to look at I can get, I have to pay for the instructions. I know, but. well, too bad, but I wasn't sure that was the right machine. It yeah. wasn't, the number changed. There you go. Uh, okay. Um, all right, so and while Mary, so. while Mary looks at that, or not, um, we're going to take the, um, screw out of the side so we can take the cover off. Put that with the other ones. This now, thing has so many neat little places. Now we need your little flashlight again. Oh, okay. And so what we're going to do next, we took the cover off. We're going to take our um, pipe cleaners again. I don't know why I can't remember that. It's a pipe today. cleaner, Bob. It's a pipe cleaner. And we're just going to do the same thing we did everywhere yeah. else and just roam the, you know, run this around in here. You know, with this being um, right after New Year's where everybody's kind of taking a break from their Christmas rush and probably setting up. This one might be, a, there's a big string on that pipe cleaner we just stuck in there. I don't want it to get lost in there. This may be a good time to to take a, a 15, 20 minutes, maybe an hour, and go ahead and give your machine a little once Absolutely. Over. Some people set, you know, a certain times on the calendar. Some people do per project. Um, it really depends on how much you use your sewing machine. Mm -hmm. And I'm just kind of poking all around in here with, um, with the pipe cleaner and um, looking to see. Yeah, I don't see anything. Yeah, and uh, it's pretty, it's fairly clean in there, I think, um, for right now. All right, so we're going to pause for one second. We'll be right back. Turn this off for a minute here. Right. Okay, so we're back. Um, now we're going to, listen, on a lot of our newer machines, it is not required that you oil your machine as often as you need to oil the older machines. Also, it's really important that you don't over oil your machine. So I'm going to just turn this up and down and Mary's going to pay attention to which parts are moving up and down. Mary, can you see which parts yeah. are moving up and down? Okay. So what we want to do is put a drop right of here. oil. You want to put it first, put a drop of oil right near the, I'm going to turn this for you. Yeah, we're so, going to, we want to oil this stuff. The parts of the machine that, that are Any that are moving that, and making and having friction. So Mary's going to put just a drop of oil. And I know it seems like, well, let me put 10 drops, but that's not what you want to do. There, there you go. go. All right. So yeah, that's a little tiny bit of oil, but it will. Just a tiny bit of oil. That's all you need. We're yeah. going to give that a little drink. And that's going to oil this entire mechanism right here. And you want to wiggle it, it up and down. it is going up and down. So you want to work that oil in it. You do. And then... Mary's going to reach in and so just put, put, oil yep, in. put a little oil right where all these joints are, widgets are working together. I'm sure they're not called widgets, but. Okay. There goes and then one I want little, you to put one little drop right on that. Then one little drop right, right in here. here. Yep. It only takes a tiny, minute, little bit of oil, but you want to, you want to keep your, everything that moves and, and rubs together and has any kind of friction, you want to keep it lubricated. All right, so we're going to consider that lubricated. Then, in our bobbin casing, um, what we did off camera was just clean it. We put a drop of oil inside the housing yeah. in the bobbin casing. Yeah, because you will get, from the bobbin spinning and in all these metal parts, you will get little tiny metal fragments in there that will end up coming out onto your projects. So it's we, we put a little bit of oil in there and wiped it all down to make sure it's good wiped and clean. Wiped it out real clean. Um, and then um, we're going to just give this hand crank a turn. And Mary, we're going to just need put, the oil yep, down there. put a little drop down there. Yeah. Need oil down there in the back. Take it. Oops, I'm making her chase us. <laughs> Do it all still. I can oil it easier. Did it come out? Yep. Okay. Put it out right back here. Yep. Okay. Yeah. All right. So now the other place I'm gonna we're gonna oil today, and just because um, Mary's machine has not been used in so long, I'm gonna clean this um, bobbin winder real good. Yeah. When we were testing the machine, the bobbin winder works. But it does kind of, it's, it's, it's tight, and it kind of goes, yeah, maybe not. It's not as willing to work as I would like it to be. And let me have a, it's uh, kind of like I am. Let me have a pipe <laughs> Um, 
let's just wrap this around here and get this all cleaned Yeah, so up. we're going to use the pipe cleaner again to get all the stuff out of here. Spin it around, yeah, well. So we just put a pipe cleaner around this wheel housing, and then I'm going to just go back in here a little bit around her belt. Um, I think we do need to get her a new belt. So yeah, we do. We definitely, when we turned it on and we're running it, um, you can, it's, it, the a belt definitely has a bit of an odor. A you bit can of fray. see that there's a little bit of fraying on the belt, which is not, I mean, it's not a huge deal, but it does, I don't. No, and it, it's, we don't know how old this belt is, so the yeah. belt will dry rot. And it's probably, it's yeah, so we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and replace yeah. the belt. And I'm going to put a little bit of oil, as soon as it takes top off. Yeah, it works better on the um on each of these little pulleys. Yeah, we're gonna oil the pulleys. I'm gonna put a teeny little bit. Yeah, right there. Up here on the bobbin holder. Mary's gonna give it a little spin. We're gonna spin it manually because we don't. And then we're gonna give it. We a don't. We light. still don't have any power to it. Nope, we still have the power off. All right. So I think what we'll do now is we're gonna go ahead and start to put the base plate back on. Yeah, that's this. Yep, I'm gonna give one right. little. Right. So, you know, in your um, in your even in your newer machines, like um, around the the bobbin housing, does get a little drop of oil now and then. So I'm gonna give it just a little drop here. And again, don't be too liberal with your oil because what will no. happen is it'll pull in your machine, and then when you um, least expect it. A spot will show it, up. You're gonna have spots on your on your fabric from on whatever you're sewing. All right. So, you know, you have to be very very uh, limited stingy. with the oil. Stingy yeah. with be the stingy oil. Yeah. With your oil. Yeah. Too much oil oh. is not a good thing when you're doing so, when you're oiling any kind of mechanical part. Oh, I forgot to clip the. So Mary, oh. Mary's been uh, watching me take this apart. So Mary's oh. gonna put her flip it around over other way. Yep. Now put this up top. Little dent up top. Oh. Okay. Now yep. put your little clips in place without breaking your nail. I would never break a nail. Okay. Um, all right. And um, let's put that put back this on. back on. Yeah. Put that screw in the back. Okay. You have to line it up. I can't see. Let's not this is going well. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, we're not right. Okay, try, try. Uh, oh, it's right in there. Okay. I can see it now. Never mind. Let's do that this way. Uh, make me so bad at Like a little tad wrong. It's not, oh, it's not lined up. Okay, here. Hang on. Can you look for the little hole there? See when it's... This shouldn't be so difficult. And it might not be difficult for you guys. Is it lined up yet? I don't know. This rascal. He's oh, yeah. No, it's too far up. It sounded like you got it. No. Requires a steady no. hand and lots of patience. <laughs> mm hmm She said. I got it. Okay. Just somebody's getting ready to throw it out in the yard. All right. Is that supposed to? No. I sort of got it. No. We're a mess. Something's a mess. There we go. Oh. You did it like that the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Look how quick that was. Okay. All right. So, um... Now she's going to put the... Yeah, because this ah, last thing I put together went fun. well. Oh, wait, we got to get the needle back up yeah. all the way up. And we're going to put the little put plate thing back, back on. on. The barb head and the little screws. tiny screws. Gee, will of course. These are... Well, they're not super tiny, but they are kind of in an awkward dumb. spot. All right, so we're going to tighten those down. I guess these really just need to be finger. They don't need to be super tightened. super tight. Yeah, of course now this works just fine. 
No, yeah, Mary's gonna. Mary found that her bobbin yeah. fits in there perfectly, so this she's is, been using that as the this right. This is my sewing machine right screwdriver. Yeah. Anybody's wondering what kind of what size screwdriver? Bobbin. It's an L size. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So when Mary's so done that, a little, little twist. There we go. All right. All right, so now that Mary's done that, we're gonna go ahead and wind a bobbin so that she can. Now let's plug um, it in because we haven't been oh plugged yeah, in. We've been unplugged. Plug us yeah. in, Mary. I'm gonna kind of get this off of here a little bit so we can yeah. watch us throw a bobbin. That is a bobbin. I know, I wonder if we can watch us do it. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so I'm oh, going off her. That's right. Mary, Mary likes this one. Um, okay. All right. So we're going to, um, thread Mary's machine. Let me move it back up here. Yeah, to do a, to do a bobbin. Okay. So we're going to put our spool of thread on the top. We're going to raise the lever all the way to the top. You always want that up at the top. We're going to put it in the thread holder. We're going to go around the tension discs and you want to make sure you catch Maybe it. Maybe like this so you can see the tension disc. So there's the tension discs. You want to make sure you catch the little hook. Every tension disc ha almost has a little hook. I don't, I've never seen one that doesn't. You want to make sure you put it in a little hook. We're going to go through the take up lever. Not for right. a bobbin, are we? Oh, not for, no, that's true. Oh, forget all that. I'm threading the machine for them. We're just going to do a bobbin. We're doing a bobbin real quick. I completely Please excuse forgot. that. Yeah. All right, so you do have to put it in the little thread guide. We're going to come back around here and put it in the tension disc at the bottom. We're going to take our bobbin and do a few winds by hand around the bobbin. And yeah. we want our thread coming off the top. We're gonna, we raised the bobbin take up lever. We're gonna put, snap the bobbin on, push that down and lock it into place. Now, Mary's machine has been a little fussy. We're gonna hold the hand wheel and turn the, loosen the knob, wait Mary, uh, halfway so that now it knows we want to wind a bobbin. So give it a little. Okay, and Mary's machine is happily winding the yeah. bobbin. Pushing the foot pedal. And so, here it is, it's humming along. I guess this is what a sewing machine sounds like. It is. Sounds all right. And it's um, it's winding just beautifully. Uh, right now it's a yeah. nice smooth bottom. We do need a, so you see it going back and forth. You probably can't. We do need a thread uh, guide on this. A thread guide. Just to keep that from Can I get one from Seaside Quilting Supplies? I think you can get one from okay. Seaside Quilting Supplies. I'll let my friend Barbara know I need one. Let it go a little bit more. Mm -hmm. It should stop when it's full. Keep going. Right? It oh. should, the machine should stop when your bobbin is full. Did you know that they magically know? They do magically we'll generally see. know. We're, we're going to test that theory. Yeah, we are. Mine stops when it's full. So we'll see. If, oh, oh my gosh. It's all full. It did know. All right. Now wait. We need a good. We have 12 million good pairs it's of scissors. so fun. Yeah. In yeah. this shop. We can't, we can't find any scissors. Just to. And so. Mary, your machine. Yeah, my belt, my belt smells, it, it smells but I'm going to order a new belt. No, it's not just the belt, it's the motor. It's just because it hasn't had yeah, it hasn't exercise. run. It's it just run. like us when we're, you know. I don't exercise, so I don't want to smell like that. Well, it's just like us when we're getting started again. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, here's the scissors. Um, so, her bobbin's all done. We're going to take it off. Look at that beautiful, let me get rid of that little baby. And this is a beautiful Cosmo pink uh, cotton thread if you is. guys want some. It's 100% Egyptian cotton. Yeah. Uh, we love our Cosmo thread here. All right. I stole it off of Barbara's sewing machine. Here's Mary's bobbin. Here's her bobbin case. So we're going to put her bobbin in the bobbin case. Um, we're going to hold the bobbin case so that our, our tension screw is on top. We're going to put the bobbin in so that our thread is coming off the top so we want our thread to come off the top we're going to put the thread under the little guide make sure it's in the little hook that tension feels pretty good to me yeah. yep we'll Mary's gonna open the little that. Door. she's gonna sit we're gonna sit the little and bobbin hell and it'll snap in. in Mary oh it snaps in oh, okay gosh. now getting nervous 
All right, so now we're gonna thread her machine. So on the thread spool, should you make me do it? Through the thread guide, sure. Stupid me, I don't wanna say that. <laughs> okay, around the tension disc. Can I go in there? Nope, mm -mm. tension discs first. Around right here? Nope, go between, yep, right there. Right there. Now, go behind it a little bit so that you end up like kind of under that thing and you wanna go so that you end up, pull this this way. So that you end up inside that little uh, hook, so you gotta right, pull that, it that yeah, way. So Oops. Good, good, good. Go around that. See this little thing? You wanna go yeah. around it. Oh, okay. and you have to end up so the thread inside, is coming out yeah, of there. Like little... Now go right to left through your thread guide. Let's see. I mean, take up lever. That's a take up lever. Right to left. Oh, <laughs> now, come down oh, here. Geez. Go through your three little loops. Yeah. This way, right? Uh -huh. Until your needle, your thread's nice and straight coming out the bottom. Okay. Sure. Now your th your machine's gonna thread left to right, Mary. Here, so left she's gonna thread to right. through the needle hole, and we we really should. You know what? We're gonna pause for one second. You know what we're gonna start with? What? A new needle. Oh, a new needle. That's right. Always. You should always change needles when you start a new project. Or get a new machine. Or get a new machine, because this needle. Could be as old as we are. Who knows? So we're gonna we're gonna stick a new needle in here. And I'm gonna put a universal in it. Yeah. Since we don't have any idea what Mary's gonna do, we're gonna put a universal in here. We are. And you, this little. Yep. Unscrew that. Now listen. Always hold your needle Just with stop. your left. Hold your needle with your left hand. Uh huh. Wow. Ooh, we woo, doggies. If I ever put this on here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, you know what? Hang on. I see a little. Oh, this one goes on with a screw. Well, there we go. Uh, Got your needle? Now it should slip yeah, right out. Yeah, I have my needle. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, hold on to the needle because it'll fall out into the machine and then we'll have some. Look at that. You can see how shiny it is where it was gripped, but look at the, just the age. Yeah. So we're going to put a new it's needle a good in thing. here for Mary. Um, now, Mary, you will find. Let me see. If we, we're mm -hmm. all the way at the take up. Well, wait, let me tighten oh, that. Okay. So you want to raise your needle, this needle uh -huh. harness, as high as it'll go, which okay. I think is about there. So your needles thread left to right. So the flat part of your needle should be facing this inside of this machine, and you'll know if it fits up in there or not in just a second. Said. Really? Right, let's see. Yep, there it goes. Okay, so the flat part of your needle is going to be facing this mm -hmm. way and just wiggle around till you feel it get in there. Now you want to put your needle and just finger tight. I, you know, I mean, nice and snug, but not, yeah, okay. I don't think we need the screwdriver. Okay, now go ahead and thread from left to right. This is left over here, right? Mm -hmm. Over there is your left. <laughs> You guys have no idea how much left right problems I have. Alright. Yeah, good luck with this part. Yeah. We neither of us can Karen see. Karen Jack so. are asking about those self threading needles. They're coming your way. I don't even see a hole. Ah. <laughs> Wait, let's get you some light on it. Yeah. Uh, hang on. I'm going to get you a flashlight. Oh my. This will make you say pretty things. My vision is not 2020, and has it been for 20, 20 years? Oh, you almost! Oh, you got it! She oh my gosh, it. I got it! She got it! Seventeenth try. She got now. Pull it all the way through gently. Holy you don't want to make any smokes. knots. You want to be gentle when you're pulling. Oh this my through. god! I already tied it. A now, flipping knot. All you do is grab it from underneath. You don't have to. You don't have to unthread. Oh, that's on top. We don't want that. Okay. <laughs> Now, leave this down here for a minute. Okay. okay. Now, close your little drawer. I don't put this under there? No, no not yet. All right. Now, okay. So, remember we had loosened the hand wheel knot. Yeah. This is called the hand wheel nut for your bobbin. Make sure you tighten it back oh, up. Okay. So, the machine won't know you want to sew again. All right. Now, turn it towards you till it picks up the bobbin thread. Do you see it yet? Mm -hmm. If you don't see it yet, give this a little tug. Do you see oh, it Oh, I do. Look. Okay, now pull that through. Pick up the bobbin thread. 
Okay, now take both of those and put them under. Oh, under the presser foot. Put them in the center of the presser foot and pull them to the back. Okay. Good job. All right, so. They're listen. really tight though, are they supposed to be? Well, we're gonna see in just a minute. So we're gonna loosen your needle tension just a tad on this top lever. So what we're gonna do, Mary's stitch length is set manually on this machine um, by this lever. So just knowing that we generally wanna sew with a, you know, a one and a half, a two and a half inch stitch length, we're gonna leave it somewhere between the one and the two mark generally. What's this? Mary, we need, that's for reverse sewing. We're not gonna play with that yet. So if you wanna go backwards, we're not going backwards yet. We're gonna try just to go forwards. <laughs> okay. So Mary's gonna get us a little piece of scrap fabric. And by us, I mean her. You get dark pieces instead of pink. Oh yeah, there you go. Isn't there anything black or dark green or? Now, mind you, we have not tested this since we just did this yeah, setup. Yeah. So we're gonna see what it does. Mary's gonna put it we're under gonna... the presser foot and she's gonna put her presser foot down. Oh, uh, put the presser foot down. Yep. Push now, back there. grab these threads and hold them in your okay, hand just a little here. bit. Just loosely. Should I go to the end of the fabric? No, 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 yeah, I don't, I don't know. For this, for it doesn't matter for this part. What are we making? Is this going to be a placemat? No, we're not making anything yet. We're this sewing. is going to be a placemat, no, guys. We're not making anything yet. Okay, so let's see if it. Let's see what it does. Go uh, gently. Go gently. Hold uh, your hold threads it, for hold, just the first few hold stitches. Hold this. Go gently. There's a lot of rules. Just the first few stitches. A little more. Yeah. Listen to that. Look at that. I'm sewing, Look guys. Look at that. Mary's sewing. Okay, pause. Oh, Mary. something oh, snapped. She just broke her um, top thread. Flip. No, it's okay. Pull it out. Here, let's oh, I gotta get my up. needle up. Listen, if it won't move, because when, uh, your bobbin thread sometimes will catch. So just wiggle your turn, turn thing a little bit and you'll get your... All right, so I can tell right now Mary's bottom thread tension is way too high. Oh, yeah. I hurt my feelings. So... Look, guys. Don't look. Talk. Look, guys. I sewed all that all by myself. All by herself. Look. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> all right. So look, we're gonna we're gonna loosen her bobbin tension a tad. So for most people, bobbin tension is always an issue. And that's for me, because, I feel like it will be. And that's because we tend to move our. Um, tension screw too much so you want to move your tension screw in just the tiniest mm. tiniest little increments like barely at all and then you want to see what you get after that see for me this still feels tight but last time we tried to go too far we had a small disaster but only small that's a little better. So just move it the tiniest bit. Give it another test. See what you get. Oops. Be sure you snap that back in the top there, Mary. Okay, then this let's... This back here, too. Your is. top... Well, yeah, you lost your top thread because your bottom was pulling a lot. So let's do this again. She's all fell apart, guys. Right to left. Here, let's get you a nice clean... Yeah. Okay, now Mary's going to re-thread. Yeah. Because it went so well the first time. Do your little loopy doos there. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay, then left to right. Oh, right in there. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. Like look a pro. At, you know, there you go. Now. Do your turn the uh, hand wheel toward. No, uh, pull this. Pull this uh, thread. Turn it towards you. Turn this to grab that bobbin thread. Now gently raise your needle all the way to the top. Now uh, gently pull, pull that. No, nope, not that. Yeah, just pull it with your needle until you see it come through the top. Okay, you don't want to okay, pull it out right. from there. There. Oh, that feels That's much better. Now miles. close this. Okay. Put it. Now I'm going to tuck them back under the presser foot. Give them a trim because you uh, don't want all that nonsense. Yeah, I got about seven miles of thread back there. Okay. Now let's. So, Let's turn down your top tension just a tad, just for kicks. Oh, you know what, Mary? What? You know, this is, hang on, this might have been our problem. So, on this machine, the whole tension housing was out of alignment. Oh. So, we're going to, we may have to play with this a little bit now, because I really have no idea where your tension is right oh, now. I'm trying okay. to see, but... I think we're gonna have to play with it a little bit. It this feels that's right super there. tight right there. 
All right. Now I feel it. I, yeah. I have holes. Okay. So let's but let's put your. Um, we're gonna try fabric. it again. Get my threads back there. Put the bag, there. Put, put your the presser foot press down. Bring these over here and hold on to them for uh, just a minute while you lock your first couple of. Can't find my foot pedal. There yes. you go. Too many moving parts. Not too hard. Go gently. Don't push the fabric. Let the machine pull the fabric. Uh, okay. Give it a little more gas. Shouldn't be a problem for you. Yeah, I'm going fast now. Yeah. Look how far it's going. All right, now pause. For Doing that. it one handed, Mom. Let's look at your stitch tension and stuff. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to. We're going to take Mary's stuff out, which we're will make her not placement. happy. We're making a placement, We are not guys. making a placement. <sighs> All right, so let's get... My needle's still down. No? All right, snip that. Snip both threads. Okay. So let's look, let's see what she's got. Now, I think her top tension looks... Be I, this looks beautiful. Your stitches are too short. We're going to lengthen them up. But look, she has good... Oops, sorry. Her top stitches look fantastic. Her back stitches look really, really good. My my only issue I'm right famous. now is your <coughs> stitches are too short. You don't need your okay. stitches this small. Yeah. No. So let's. Is that just for normal sewing or pr just? Pr well, just for regular sewing. You yeah. don't need your stitch quite that tight. Okay. So picture. Okay. Put your press foot down. All right. Now let's let's move this to. So this must be at like one right now. Yeah, see this is so, here's where somehow another magic. Don't turn one. it, don't spin don't it. Don't turn it. No. Nope. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Just up and down. Uh, so okay. and that's how well you can loosen it to move it, but you want to turn it, it wants to be locked in uh, place. Okay. So just for kicks, let's go all the way to like three and see what your stitch okay. length looks like. All right. And, and we're so sewing along kind of near the first one. Hold your threads, go gently at first, and then once you have the coat, now you can let go of those threads and not worry about them. Okay. Now, Mary, look immediately. Oh, look, I can see line. a difference. I can see. Okay, pause. See where I did something lift your, wonky. Lift your, you're okay. Raise that. Now lift your presser foot. Now, gently. Oh. Uh, Catch your. Uh, now let's raise this a little bit. There we go. Okay. Now pull that out. Give yourself a snip. Yeah, I can see the difference. I can also yeah. I can see where it grabs its what? Oh, that's fabric. Right. Okay, so now <coughs> her back tension. Now her bobbin tension is a teeny bit off. Mary, let me give it a quick spin just to check something here. But anyway, this is. I I think it's kind of cool because I was really skeptical when I grabbed this machine such a great, I mean, such a low price. It didn't cost me hardly anything out of pocket. And um, to me, sewing, for especially some of the magical, wonderful things our customers do, and on some of the machines I hear about, it's just kind of intimidating. So, but, but for me to get this machine $20 at a yard sale, and then we've kind of gone through it, um, I encourage anybody who's intimidated to start sewing, let's go ahead and get it done. And she's getting some great stitch yeah. uh, length here now. I think I think we'd be happy with that. I may shorten it up just a smidge for her, mm -hmm. but it's making it's making nice tight stitches. Um, we'll play with the tension a little bit, which is a perpetual problem when you're sewing. Not always, but it can be. Um, hang on, I want to just pull with this a smidge. Yeah. All right. All right, that's no tension. Let's try that and see what we get there. All right, one more spin. Oh, that sounds better. All right, that sounded much better. Now, Mary's little motor. Oh, that's almost perfect, Mary. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. We played, and I'm going to have you do one more pass at it. See how... Your stitches look that's okay, yeah. and on the back yeah. you've got no puckering. Mm -hmm. So, how do I just show you? I'm gonna pull them out. All right, Mary, do another round all on your own, like a big girl. Do it all by myself. And I'm gonna shorten the stitch length just a yeah. smidge, a, just a teeny little bit. Yeah, so this shows you that some scrap fabric, you know, and a little bit of adjusting, you know, will we'll get you where you need to be. Put your foot down, hold your threads for just a second. You make your first. Once you make a few stitches, you can let go of those. 
There you go. Okay, I like them. Don't be afraid to let it give a little more gas. Let it do a little work. It's got to get its strength out. Look at those beautiful balls. Look at those beautiful okay, stitches. Pause. Okay, let's go ahead and put it needle all the way up, yeah. raise your presser foot, wiggle like a little bit, that. get your look you there, over there and the that. scissors, all right, let's look at the back of those and see what we got, we got any puckering or the nice flat, no, so what you want is nice flat, was this your, where's your flannel row, this way, oh yeah, they look great, nice flat stitches, no puckering, so if you're if it starts to look like that, your back tension's uh -huh. a little tight. Yeah, she got a see? beautiful row. Yeah, perfect row that time. Nice flat stitches. Yeah, so so if you guys, and if you guys have got, hopefully you're inspired to go pull out Grandma's machine out of the basement or something. And if you're seeing some puckering or whatever, Google some different troubleshooting on, on what to do. Because this, um, it's always tension. I encourage it's you. your top yeah. or bottom tension, but... <laughs> this was just our first installment of Say It Ain't So. Say It Ain't So. I'm sewing. Mary sewing. She's sewing. sewing a whole row of stitches. The next we'll thing, I'm finished. making a placement with trolls. She's Not trolls, gnomes. Oh I'm making a gnome we placement. We just got this gorgeous new gnome fabric in from Timeless Treasures called Watermelon. Watermelon Party. 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 So we're going to make a cute little thing. We. We. She. Me. Um, so share our videos with your friends remember yep. to like and hit that little bell yes. on youtube subscribe to our channel for the next installment of say it ain't so and don't be afraid don't be afraid to get that machine out of the basement out of the attic out of your grandma's house out from the yard sale let's let's sew together so next time what we're going to do is mary's going to set up her machine i'm going to set up my machine beside her we're going to cut out two of whatever it is she's going to make yep. a placemat i guess and I'm going to do it and tell her what to do. And she's going to sew it right beside me. Yep. We'll see you next time for Say It Ain't So. Go Thank sew you. some love. Bye-bye.